I want to ask you about the Aramco IPO, of course. It's now the world's most valuable company, and it's not trading in New York or London. It's trading in Riyadh. Are you and your brother, the Crown Prince, happy with the result? Well, I don't deal with him as my brother. Uh, I deal with him uh, in the uh, acceptable norm of a government. Uh, the king is the king, and he is the prime minister. Crown Prince is the Crown Prince, and he is the Deputy Prime Minister. He also uh, uh, chair uh, the IPO uh, High-Level Committee. He you were also, on that as well, right? I am in there, and I'm also in the uh, uh, Executive Committee. I'm also, he is also the chair of the Hydrocarbon Committee. So in reality, he is my boss. He's my immediate boss, and I report to him, and I'm honored to for being uh, a person that can report to him. But have you spoke to him about the IPO? Is, is he happy with it? I know he is a proud person. I know that uh, he made us all also proud because he took upon him good decisions. These decisions, you will see it. You have seen it now. It brought us uh, a 4.6 times the oversubscribed, yes. oversubscription. I think it will be, uh, he will be we will all be proud as Saudis uh, himself and every Saudi when this company trades and give it uh, the next few months. And you see that his calculation of what Aramco is worthy uh, uh, would be there. Uh, unlike what you have seen, the so-called SODO uh, evaluators, uh, mm -hmm. it's already uh, going to be sold for uh, 1.7, but I would be uh, more than assured to, to, to believe that it will be way much higher. But Wall Street money managers, they do this every day. They're not stupid. What don't you think international Wall Street, global Wall Street, what didn't they get about Aramco? Well, it's a different being somewhere in, in down the city in London and uh, being down Dahran and see a culture of 60 years a company with the 60 years of well endowment uh, and uh, a relationship between a government and uh, a company that enabled it to build its image, its uh, uh, assets, and the endowment it has in terms of uh, reserves. Mm. How on earth somebody can compare Aramco with almost 60 years of open-ended uh, uh, ability to exploit 266 billion barrels of oil, God knows how many uh, uh, cubic feet of gas, uh, with, by the way, a good chunk of shell gas that we will be surprised that we will be producing it over some years from now. This is a heavily well-endowed company with reserves, with a long concession agreement, with uh, a talent, human resource, well-developed, the ability to attract every uh, person that can help, uh, good training programs, good investment portfolio internationally, more uh, aspiration and clarity of what this company will do in the future, very well-diversified portfolio, that portfolio will be even enhanced and more diversified. But, but it didn't attract the foreign capital. Do you, so do you think Wall Street made a mistake? Well, a lot of uh, foreign capital had come into this IPO. I would have to also stress that, uh, which is uh, something that maybe not a lot of people uh, are aware of it. Even, by the way, expats living in Saudi Arabia have subscribed, and we're allowed to subscribe. There are at least uh, 1,500 some of qualified foreign investors funds that were allowed to. There is a lot of uh, endowment, foundations, uh, mutual funds uh, that have participated. There is also sovereign funds that have participated. So the portfolio of those who uh, elected to, to come and, and subscribe it's quite a diverse uh, um, uh, portfolio. So it's not, you know, the only thing that they did not do 
was the road showing and the mm. because we felt that we have sufficient uh, and I think that proves our calculus was right. Do you think investors looking at today uh, Saudi Arabia looking to cut more uh, a little bit worrisome basically a Ramco not could not producing as much as they could because of the OPEC deal? No, uh, I, I think what the world uh, will be happy with and those who have subscribed uh, is that uh, you will have a stable uh, oil market, which means that uh, revenues of Aramco will increase, mm. which means that profitability of Aramco will increase, which means that the dividend paid uh, will be higher. So actually, uh, I said it maybe a bit emotional just a while ago, but I could repeat it because now I'm more settled. Uh, and I would still say, say that those who have not subscribed in Aramco will be chewing their thumb to the point that I would be worried about them that they don't go and fix themselves in a hospital. I know you don't target price. I have 20 seconds. What is a fair price, though, for consumers and producers? A fair price, not one you're targeting, fair, but what you think is fair for the market? A fair price is a sustainable price. 